Hello and welcome to Just One More Watch. Just One More Watch just moved house. I'm afraid R2-D2's gone, but I do have a bronze Steve Irwin shoving his thumb up a crocodile's and to celebrate the fact that I moved, I thought I'd start with a Vostok modification video. I've clearly fallen down the Vostok rabbit hole over the last couple of months. I had bought the parts to modify this one before I finished modifying the first one, before indeed I'd even bought this one. So today, unbox, modify, and compare the two watches side by side. Incredible how different you can get these Amphibia to look using just a bezel and a strap. All right, let's flip the camera and get into it. Okay, Vostok number two. And straight from the unboxing into the modification. That's what we like to see. So this one, like the last one, came from uh, Nikolai at Moscow Time Sellers on eBay. Plenty of options as to where to buy these ones. And I've gone for something slightly different with this one. Last time I went for the 710624, the ministry case with the scuba doo dial in black. This one, this one is a 420288. So a slightly different case shape uh, with a paratrooper dial. Uh, something that should have a little bit of color about it. Should be interesting to look at as well. Plenty of packaging on this one, I'll just remove that. Okay, there it is in its unmodified state, fresh from the factory in Mother Russia. This one, the 420288, does look and feel quite a bit smaller than the Ministry cased version that I modded recently. It is a little bit smaller, 39 in diameter and 18 mil on the lug on the customary uh, hideous Vostok bracelet. This one's coming straight off. But there you are, that's what it looks like coming out of the factory. We'll soon change this one though, that's for sure. So equipment, not a lot. We've got a little pin here, a butter knife and a cloth, a couple of 18 mil NATOs. I'm not sure which one will go. I'll probably use the distressed leather one. I do like that one. I've got a Bergeon spring bar tool, case pack remover, and a smooth bezel and stainless steel crown. Next thing up, I'll get rid of all the packaging and remove the original hideous bracelet. Okay, bracelet's gone. Next up, I shall take the case back off. Pretty straightforward procedure. And there we go, there's the little Vostok movement beating away inside there. So next up for the crown. To remove the original crown, simply insert the pin into this little spring plunger here, whilst at the same time unscrewing the crown Pull it out and it should come all the way out. Simply reverse the procedure, making sure that the spring plunger is depressed by the pin all the way in. Easy as that. And then we'll put the case back back on. Okay, next up, remove and replace bezel. Now to remove the bezel, this one might be a little more difficult actually because it's not that um, exposed. Get the butter knife, cover it in the cloth. I'm actually going to use the slightly sharper end of the knife, relatively speaking. Get it underneath that bezel and there we are. Just give it a twist and it pops off. This one's brand new so I'm not going to bother cleaning it. So to replace the bezel, just make sure that the metal spring clip is in the proper recess all the way around and in theory this should just oh, almost this one might need a little bit of a squeeze there we go that is the bezel fitted now while i'm here i'm going to pop in the new strap with a couple of uh, extra heavy duty little 80 mil spring bars i had lying around the house Now I've got this distressed olive green NATO. I think it'll really suit the uh, military vintage aesthetic of the watch. And there we go, modified Vostok number two. I'll pop it on my wrist. And there we go, that's it sitting on top of my seven inch wrist. I think that looks great. Really pleased with how the smoothed off bezel complements the smaller case size. I think that's a a good choice, I'll congratulate myself for that one. But a cracking little watch this, looking forward to wearing this one out and about. 
I'll do a comparison between the two Vostoks that I've modified so far. And there they are, same, same, but very different. 710634 on the right, 420288 on the left. And I think I'm very happy with the mods that I chose for each of them. Uh, I think the Seiko bezel insert looks really good on this one and the smooth bezel looks great on that one. Makes them look really quite differentiated from each other. Okay, so I'm hoping to cap my Vostok addiction at two. I don't think anybody needs more than two, but then there's a strong argument that nobody needs more than one. So we shall see how this one pans out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.